John. How's it going? Oh, not too bad, Mark. Excellent, just excellent. Playing, just playing with these champion sevens. Great shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Oh John, good. Yeah, great value. Good, yes. Um, yeah, John. Um, what should we talk about today? So we're doing vlogs quite regularly. Or vlogs? Yeah. Um, I think our maybe followers might be interested in knowing a little bit about why we travel to the UK and play tournaments for juveniles. Yes, I yes I mm -hmm. noticed um, you were just back about two or three weeks ago with Dylan um, playing an English Gold Star, um, and you've been doing this for about five years now, John. Is that right? Yeah, this is we're going since two thousand fifteen. We've wow. been playing in English tournaments. Hard to believe it's almost half a decade. Sophia and Dylan. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Well, I I, I think um, it would be. Great, uh, I think, uh, to help other players and coaches in Irish badminton, Leinster badminton, I suppose the question is, why do you do this, John? That's what everybody wants to know. Five years of doing it, why would you do it? There's probably a couple of reasons, Mark, if yeah. the truth be known. Um, the first thing is, uh, Sophia and Dylan, like a lot of the players in Ireland across all the provinces, you get very familiar with the same players playing uh, against mm. each other tournament in, tournament out. Now these tournaments are great in Ireland, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but for them to adapt to different types of styles of players, mm -hmm. they need to go somewhere else. And we thought, well, we're best to go, but next door to mm -hmm. England. Just grab on to, a, get a flight, get over there in an hour, mm -hmm. and you can be playing against the very top players under different age categories mm -hmm. and we decided that's why we would do um, to get that experience and know what it's like as a 13 year old or a 12 year old or even 10 year old going mm -hmm. over to England um, going out into a court you don't know uh, about mm -hmm. even familiar in Ireland with all the courts in Whitehall Road mm -hmm. um, in the Ulster Babington Hall there in Lisburn mm -hmm. uh, down in Connacht and Limerick and all the wonderful courts Mm. Um, so you need to get for you know you need to put these players into um, different situations that makes them uncomfortable mm. and see how they d adapt and develop mm. and that was one of our reasons to do it and then after that the, the players you're getting um, all the players um, over a while you get to know the different type of players mm. so when you go back again the second time and the third time you're training in between to mm. counter, how am I going to beat that player? That player is very, very tough, maybe has a good smash because um, some of the younger players develop stronger um, at, a, at a quicker age than others. Yeah. And it allows um, our players or any player that's traveling from Ireland to think about, yeah, tactically, how, what do I need to do? So yeah. for those reasons, Mark, let's sum it up. So uh, if I was to sum that up very briefly, you're really putting, um, your players into unfamiliar situations and you are testing them and seeing how uh, the players adapt and improve their skills as a result. Yeah, that's exactly it, Mark. You're, you're testing the players and you're seeing where their weakest link is. Good their point. weakest link might be, um, might be, for example, mental, because mm -hmm. um, in Ireland they've got very used to winning mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they're in a much tougher tournament and winning doesn't happen as easy as it used to mm -hmm. and they have to cope um, sometimes I've seen a lot of even our own players very disappointed you weepy teary eyes mm -hmm. the next time they go over not as much mm -hmm. they're getting tougher I'm not saying it doesn't even happen right into adulthood and yourself <laughs> Mark whether you you have a weepy eye in, in, in all the tournaments you still play yeah. Um, but um, you you know when, when you're only 10, 11, 12 or whatever 14, 15 it's young mm. and you're out there and you have to um, test as you use the word test mm. um, it may be a case that um, mentally they are strong but mm. they haven't um, actually taken their nutrition in enough over a long tournament mm. um, because you play a lot of games in a day in England mm. um, one of the key things is um, that when you play the singles and you play doubles, it's all out of a box, a pool box. You've got to get mm. out of a box right. to qualify 
for maybe a quarter final. Hmm. Um, whereas um, in Ireland, it's um, on a knockout basis. So yes. you have a lot longer on the court in England. Mm. Um, the exception for that is in the mixed doubles, mm -hmm. there's a knockout. So, so okay. um, it's, uh, and my tip to all these young players watching, Mark, yes. is uh, always play the mixed because it gives you court time. Mm -hmm. Even if you get knocked out, it gives you court time mm -hmm. and then you can prepare better for when you really want to excel, which might be in your doubles or in your singles. Excellent. Good yeah. point. Okay. That okay, Mark? That's, that's okay. okay.